Kikani here, back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by today's title, I'm filming a long-awaited video and continuing the little back-to-school series that's going on my channel. I'm doing a What's in My Pencil Case video. I personally love watching these videos. They're so entertaining and I love getting to see what's in people's pencil cases and, you know, new stationary items that I might like or be interested in. So today I'm just sharing all the stationary items that are in my pencil case. Hopefully you guys can be entertained by this video and get some little inspiration if you're looking for new stationary items. I'm actually out of school for today. There's a tropical storm that's coming and I am crossing my fingers that it does not cause any damage. But since I got all of that out of the way, let's just hop right into this video. Okay, so here's my pencil case. I love this pencil case so much. I've had it since seventh grade and it's still very sturdy and durable. I love that it has a handle and just these zippers are very easy to open. It's an Ango pencil case, Awaken the Beauty of Life. I actually got it off of Amazon and I love it so much. I think that if you're looking for a just good basic pencil case, this is the one for you. Anyways, since I've had it for a long time, it kind of looks kind of rusty. There's just these little dirt marks kind of at the bottom. Other than that, you it kind of looks new to be honest. But anyways, the first zipper, once you open it, you see this. Basically, not a lot, it's pretty organized. I love this pencil case because of that. This is just so you can kind of see what's in the front pocket. And I'm gonna show you guys what I put in this front pocket. So the first thing you see is this Velocity pencil. It's a mechanical pencil. And honestly love it. It's my favorite pencil to just use all the time. It's 0 0.7 lead and I literally love it. I keep this pencil in like the front hole or stringy thing. I don't know what you want to talk, call it. But it's for easy access since I use it every single class. So if I switch to a different class and I need a pencil, this is the pencil I go to. And it's just easy to get out. So I definitely recommend this pencil. Next thing is this other pencil, mechanical pencil. It's a velocity pencil as well. It has a different like mechanism type because to push out the lead, you have to push right here and it comes out. This is 0 0.5 lead. I like 0 0.7, 0 0.9, and 0 0.5. This is my spare mechanical pencil. So if I run out of lead on this one, I can just switch over to this one and you know, it comes in handy. So yeah, definitely recommend this pencil. Moving on, I have this friction erasable pen. It's black ink. Honestly, love these friction pens. They're honestly the best and they actually erase pretty good. And I just like the clicker. Isn't it kind of satisfying? But this was gifted by my friend Marina. So thank you Marina for giving me this. Honestly the best and I use it a lot. So yeah. Next thing I have is this Papermate Black Ink Joy pen. This is 0 0.7 gel. I love it. Use it all the time for taking notes. It's just a plain black pen. Really nothing special about it, but it does write pretty well. And I actually like showed these in my last video, which was a back to school supplies haul. If you haven't watched it, make sure to go watch it after this video. But besides the point, let's just move on. Next thing I have is this friction, another friction black pen. I don't know why I have two of them in here. It, I don't, I don't know, whichever, wh which one is easy to access. But this one, I actually, it's actually my own. It wasn't gifted by anybody and I've had this since seventh grade. It's literally the best. I love it so much and it erases so good like this one. But since I already talked about this, let's not talk more about it. Next thing I have is this Muji pin. You know, I haven't realized how many stationary items Marina has gifted me, but this is another stationary item she gave me. I just have to get her credit. She literally has the best stationery. I actually need to get a pack of Muji pins myself because I literally love it so much and I know a lot of people that like them. 
This is a blue Muji pen. I use this all the time for ELA class. Eighth grade, we have to use blue ink pens. Not really sure why, but this one is the one I use. So I really love this Muji pen. And I just like how smoothly it writes. So I definitely need to get a pack. I also like that the like ink is refillable. Because I know you can just get an ink pack on Amazon or something. But honestly, the best. Love it so much. Thank you, Marina, again for gifting me this. Last thing in my main little pouch compartment is this pen. It's a red pen I use for math when checking answers. I mean, and it just comes in handy if I need a red pen for anything. And I know I said last thing, but I actually forgot about this little pouch right here. You can't really see it since it's covered in pencils, but when I do need it, I pull out this eraser. It's a high polymer eraser. I think that's how you say it. I don't know why I'm having trouble saying that right now, but it's a pencil eraser. Erase is so good. It's actually a plastic eraser and these work like so well. Better than other pencils, <laughs> not pencils, erasers. Anyways, so... Like I was saying, this is literally the best eraser I've ever owned. It erases so well and it's so clean. Um, so, I mean, honestly, I think you should just get your hands on this like right now. I love this eraser so much. It's a little random thing I have is this little pencil topper. And I put an eraser to a mechanical pencil in here. Just a little, you know, two in one thing. But if I ever need it because I'm using a standard pencil, um, I'll just, you know, grab it. Okay, that's enough for this main pouch. I use it all the time. I likely open this pouch more than I open this. But we are going to go ahead and go into this pouch. From up here, this is how it looks like. I have a lot of stuff in my pencil case. It's pretty messy in here. I don't know why i'm so sorry the first thing i can pull out is this sharpener it's a purple sharpener i have i don't even know how long i've had this it looks kind of new to be honest i know i've had it for a long time this is definitely not new i just you know clean it kind of after using but definitely is a good investment if you just need to sharpen a pencil. I usually use mechanical pencils, but if I ever need to use a standard pencil, then this will come in handy since my lead usually goes down fast. The other thing I have is this little mini um, sharpener. A lot of people are going to be like, why do you have to have two sharpeners? But this is just an over the trash can thing. So, I mean, if I can't use this or if someone needs to sharpen their pencil really fast over the trash can, I'll lend this to them. But this is, you know, comes in handy. It's a little thing, but it comes in handy. Next thing I have is this Expo marker. Oh, this is pretty self-explanatory, but it's an Expo marker. So if I need to draw something on the board or something, or for math, we usually draw on the desk sometimes to solve things and problems and stuff like that. So if I ever need it, you know, I'll just get it. This is a bullet tip dry erase marker because I know they have chisel tip and fine tip. But really love this. It's awesome. You should get an expo marker. And is it only me? But I think expo markers smell so good. Anyways, the next thing I have is are these scissors. I recently put these in my pencil case because I actually forgot to put a scissors in my pencil case. I don't know why. Love these scissors. They're little baby scissors. I think I've had these since like sixth grade or something. And they look totally new. So yeah. Anyways, the next thing I have are some highlighters. Okay. These are all the highlighters I have. They're all friction highlighters, and I actually recently um, invested in these, and I really like them. They're pretty aesthetic. They're also erasable highlighters, and I also um, like talked about these in my back to school supplies haul. But this is my first time using these highlighters, actually, and I actually love them so much. They erase pretty, pretty good, and I know that was one of my concerns in my last video about how they might not, like do well but surprisingly they worked and i love these highlighters so so much and i love that they erase very clean but this one i put to the side because it's not actually a friction highlighter it's actually a thick highlighter to bright liner gripped and i have a lot of these highlighters at home i just don't bring them to school because they're like very good 
But um, they have a soft grip. And I love this, you know, yellow highlighter so much. It works so well. So I'm very glad that I have this along with these friction highlighters. Next thing I have in my pencil case are these traditional pencils. This is very self-explanatory, but these are my favorite pencils, at least standard pencils, because some don't work well. These are the Ticonderoga pencils. I literally love them so much. Dixon did a good job with this. The lead writes so smoothly. Literally love these so much. Moving on. Voila. I have these Paper May Ink Joy pens. These are all the other ones because the black one's in my main compartment. But anyways, love these colors. I've already used most of them this year. They literally work so well and write so smoothly. I use the purple a lot because it's like my favorite color. And yellow for like notes and things. But I know all the other pens will come in handy. And they're honestly just good to have. I love using these pens. Next thing I have is this erasable pen. I don't really know why this is in my pencil case. I guess if it's just, if I need just an extra pen, you know. I don't know how long I've had this, but it's been more than a year. These are like the old school erasable pens. And they've made better ones. And this one honestly doesn't work that well. I wouldn't recommend buying it. But honestly, I mean, they're just good to have. It it writes pretty good, so I mean, that's a plus. Next thing I have is this spare blue pen. It's by Big Around Stick. And I mean, I already have a blue pen that I use literally all the time, which is the Muji pen. But if I ever need an extra one, if they ever run out of lead, not lead, ink, and I need more ink or something, it's an emergency, I'll use this. Moving on, I have this little grip for a like standard pencil. Let me put it on one so y'all are not confused. But yeah, this is how it would go. And I sometimes like, like my fingers get kind of rough on the pencil, I guess. And I just prefer a little grip. So I'll use this. I think this grip was gifted to me, but I have a lot like a lot more that I just don't have in my pencil case but whoever gave me this thank you so much I literally love this sure it will come into great use this year okay, so moving on into this little pouch I don't think I ever actually showed y'all but it's already slipping out so I have these lead refill things this is a 0 0.7 lead thing fusion and I have these Bic lead um, refillables and erasers. I have more erasers than a actual lead, which is kind of sad, but you know, sometimes I don't really replace the erasers, but it kind of depends. I know they come in handy because I've used some of them before. These are pretty self-explanatory, come in handy when I need them the most, and I seem to always run out of lead because I'm using my mechanical pencils literally every single day. So this is just good. And I have more lead refillables at home for like if I use a mechanical pencil at home or I need to refill it. Um, that's a long story, but these come in handy. They're good to have in the pencil case. Moving on to this pouch, I have a glue stick. It's an all-purpose glue stick. It says it goes on smooth. It, it, it does. It's a pretty good glue stick. This is another self-explanatory item. Oops. It's glue, okay? So it works pretty well. Use it all the time. I've already used it this year because they're just working our butts off. Wait, I thought I had more. What? Where did everything go? Y'all, I think that was everything about my pencil case. It seems like a lot, but um, it's really not. I just put my main essentials in here and I literally use this pencil case all the time. I don't really realize how much stuff I got in it. But yeah, this is a front little view, two main pockets, and then here's my main compartment. But comes into great use. Literally love this pencil case so much. And I know if you purchase one, it would like serve a great use to you. But there's a lot of different pencil case out there. Just find the one that works best for you. I'm sure I might consider another pencil case um, like in the future. But I really like this. So yeah, that's pretty much all the stationery. I'm willing to get more stationery. I just need to do my research.
and then order all that stuff basically but yeah that's pretty nice this video was actually very fun to make and I love like showing my you know what's in my pencil case and my all my stationery and essentials I hope you enjoyed seeing what's in my pencil case I had a lot of cool stationery items I guess but I hope that it entertained you and helped you in some way. Sadly, I'll have to end this video. But before you go, I need you to do a quick favor. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if not. That just tells me what type of content you guys like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button and the bell beside it so you will not miss any of my videos. Thank you all for watching and make sure to comment down below because I will be answering comments. But yeah, until next time, the uh, Kenna out. Bye!